tripping. I'm overly thinking. Right. Boy, I got a real plan. Right. When I signed, I signed my first. When I signed my first deal, I signed the most fucked up deal in the world. Right. I don't give a damn. I just needed the platform. Right. I had the plan. Right. It's 2020, y'all. Yeah. yeah. And it's different than when it was 2016. Yeah. You know, the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lunch. Perhaps the biggest claim is that Diddy and his son murdered someone in plain daylight and got away with it. But there's apparently a man that they know, that everyone who works with Diddy knows that they can call and they essentially will get everything cleaned up. And they are implicating the LAPD in this madness because they produced fake reports. And he's got some real good evidence to back up these claims. He says that one evening uh, during a camp that they were running with several musicians, Mr. Combs and Jay Combs were in a heated conversation with somebody named G. And while this conversation was moved out of the studio and into a restroom that was adjacent to where Jones was sitting, he heard approximately two feet away from him again, Mr. Jones is the producer that's suing him, gunshots suddenly ringing out. He recalls hearing multiple gunshots. Mr. Jones immediately went into a state of shock and fear that he would be shot next. He genuinely believed that he would be shot through the door due to how close he was. After the shooting ended, a crowd gathered around the restroom. When the door finally opened, Mr. Combs and his son exited. G was lying on the restroom floor in a fetal position, holding his stomach and bleeding out of his leg and his hip area. Everyone stood around and looked up at him. Frustrated by the lack of aid that was being provided, Mr. Jones, the producer that's suing again, dropped everything, ran to the guy, and immediately began placing pressure. As he was applying pressure on his stomach, he realized...
Are you guys? Are you guys his? Are you guys his neighbors? Cannot get home, huh? Are you guys his neighbors? Yeah. Really? So, so what's it like? What do you guys think's going on? I don't know. Uh, he's, he's touching people. He, he do too much. Are you serious? He do too much. Oh he's man. Touching people. Hey, he's not hey, supposed to be hey, touching. Hey, limos. What's hey, your experience? What's your experience with Diddy? What's your experience? I ain't never going over there. Yeah. Hey, hey, when my back, hey, when my back's top. And I appreciate you guys. Here's these gentlemen once again. I think if you have an ID. She, uh, I was at a party at Diddy Crib in, in LA. This was, uh, this was, this was the beginning of, of 2020. You know what I mean? Uh, did he have, he had put everybody else out the crib, like the, the influx of people he had put them out. But he had, he had, uh, he had took a, a liking to me in particular around the time, man. It was really, you know what I mean? Like putting his arm around me. Right. So he had put majority of the people out, but he allowed me to stay in there. Mm -hmm. Me and. The allegations are absolutely horrific. The parties had a reputation for being filled with drugs, orgies, and suspicious behavior around children. Breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. <laughs> you still have beautiful parents, but you're my child also. Look. Now, how the f did the Me Too movement miss this? Man. Where we hanging out and what we doing? We, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did Usher's first album. But for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. Going crazy. Crazy. How did you make sure that people didn't take advantage of him? My mother used to tell me all the time, you need to stop telling people that you're going to be a big artist. I'm like, why? That's what I believe. This is what I think about myself. If I don't believe it, nobody else would. Though Diddy was extremely controversial, he also gave Usher freedom he never had. Greater than just being an artist, that man helped me understand life. He helped me understand what it was to be an artist. He helped me understand what it be. Oh man, you got some visitors, dog.